Hello there and happy Tuesday, Privacy Duck family. My name is Will McAdam, founder of Privacy Duck, and I'm going to share with you today a new video on how to opt out of a fun new site <laughs> called MyRelatives.com. You know, it's not really new, I apologize for saying that. It's about six months old or so, um, relatively new in the people search world. Um, it is owned by MyLife.com. Um, however, if you take off of my life, it does not reflect to these cats over here. It's an entirely separate opt-out procedure you'll have to go through. So uh, the purpose of these videos, uh, you might um, be familiar with us over at Privacy Duck, is we do paid services where we do the work here in Los Angeles on your behalf, never contract or anything along those lines um, or outsource our stuff. Um, or we also have free opt-out resources where, you know, we want you to have your privacy and be off of these sites. So if you, you know, can't afford us or don't want to pay money to a company or anything, we show you how to get off of all of these sites using the exact same process as we do. Uh, there's no magic wand, unfortunately. We wish there, were, uh, there was, but uh, there's not. Um, it's just a lot of very manual work that, you know, you got to, do with over 300 companies, you know, step by step. So, um, you know, we can do that for you or we have these videos showing you exactly how we do it. Uh, and that's what this is today for MyRelatives.com. Um, if you're on My Relatives, you'll probably notice um, that pretty obviously if you search for your Google results. Um, My Relatives does rank pretty high up there um, in that, uh, but you can search for yourself two different ways. The first way is to go to google.com directly, type in my relatives, and then your name and your city and state. Uh, for this example, we're going to pretend that your name is James Smith and that you live in Long Beach, California, just down the street from the Queen Mary. So let's look at that there. Um, so that would be your listing if that was you. Or you can go directly to myrelatives.com and search right here. Um, and so go ahead and do that. You can narrow it down by middle name or anything if you need to you know, be more specific on your results. But uh, we're gonna, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna pretend that James B. Smith um, right here is going to be you. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how to opt that out. So once you find your result, click on your record and that will bring you to your page specifically. Um, this is what that looks like. Scroll through it a little bit. You don't have to click on anything else. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do once you find your page is to print this page out. You can do that by going to File and Print on your computer. Um, assuming you have a printer, of course. Um, or you can um, you know, hit Control P or whatever else um, to print that page out. So again, we have to mail in this request, there is no online or email opt out procedure method right now for my relatives. So it takes some time, but you know, it does work. So uh, let's go ahead and print this page out. The second thing you'll have to print out after you print out this profile page that pertains to you is going to be a opt out form that is specific to myrelatives.com. Uh, you can find that uh, link to the form in the description field of this video, or um, you know, just go to myrelatives.com in Google and also add in opt out form. And it should be your first result right there opt out request form myrelatives.com. So go ahead and click on that and open it. It will look like this right here. Uh, you'll want to print this page out. And again, uh, it doesn't have to be in color. Black and white's totally fine. And then when you print this page out, go ahead and fill out this information here using first name, middle name, uh, if applicable, last name, date of birth. Make sure your current address and your name matches the actual uh, profile record, profile page here you have on My Relatives. A lot of people don't want to put their real name or their real address on this form. If you don't, then the opt-out's not going to work for you. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, be sure also to look through MyRelatives.com uh, for any other cities you may have lived in, um, any other names 
Um, other names can be put in the aliases here. Um, only add these addresses back here, where it says going back 20 years, if they have them in other records. Um, if it's not in their system, don't give it to them. Um, but you know, if they have it, it's going to add that here and print out all the other records that match you. So you might have a few pages to send or a whole bunch of pages, uh, depending on how many records they have about you. Uh, the last thing you'll need to print out um, is going to be an edited copy of your state issued license or ID. That is going to be um, required for them to verify it's you. You know, I know it's a little bit invasive, but they won't remove you without that, unfortunately. So when I say an edited copy of your license or ID, um, you can either black out or cover up your picture, your signature, and your license ID number. Um, those are all things used in identity theft. All other information, including issuing state, your name, your address, and your date of birth, must be showing on uh, that copy of your license. So you gotta take a picture of it with your smartphone and email it to yourself and print out that way or go to your grocery store, 7-Eleven or Walgreens or what have you and uh, you know use one of their 10 cent copy machines and just make a good copy of that and send that on in. So once you have all of those items, you'll need your, um, you'll need your uh, My Relatives opt-out request form, you'll need your license and the print out of the records you'll mail that to um, my relatives and we'll put this address in our video description field as well so you have it but that's going to be 1915 21st street sacramento california 95811 you will want to allow four to six weeks for this process to fully take effect if you're still on there after about a month and a half or so go ahead and send them a second opt-out request um, because sometimes those that, that, that happens sometimes, but uh, usually most of the time that first time works every time, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, um, you know, so you'll do that there and that will take care of my relatives. Now, uh, we do take care of my relatives.com for you um, on our paid services underneath our premium privacy service, um, because that's the one that takes, you know, more leg work and things for us here. Um, and that is found right over here. It is $499 uh, for the one-time opt-out as of August 2016. Um, but also, you know, we also have tons of free resources for you to look at as well. So come to our site, look around, use our videos, our how-to guides, our resources. Um, and if we can help you out, we would love to work with you on uh, uh, taking care of this work for you here. So. Um, if you have any questions about my relatives or how to opt out of this or the process or anything, uh, please feel free to leave any questions or comments in the uh, comments field. And I always respond to those, look at those, and uh, I'll get back to you on those. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, always call us at 415-320-1845 or email me at will, W-I-L-L, at services at privacyduck.com. Uh, so that's it for today uh, on MyRelatives.com. Once again, my name is Will McAdam, founder of Privacy Duck. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if you're so inclined. We greatly appreciate it. Much love to you all and have a fantastic Tuesday. Thank you. Bye-bye.